Hey y'all, so it is the start of Vlogmas week two. Today is Sunday, December 8th. So I guess that makes it like day eight of Vlogmas, but I don't know. I really don't know anything about what day I'm on because I'm doing it by week. So this is the start of Vlogmas week two. And like I said, I was gonna be a little bit more festive. So today what we're doing is, disregard all of that, life life happens but anyways what we're doing today was we're gonna cook a sunday dinner i don't know if y'all gonna see me cook the dinner um i be trying i need to charge up my phone a little bit and um once i get my phone charged up then we can go ahead and figure out all the logistics of the sunday dinner so i am currently getting my life um i tidied up the kitchen like a little bit so I can get started on the cooking process. And I guess I'm about to show y'all what I am cooking or going to be cooking because I'm not cooking anything yet. Um, but I wanted to put on some music. The only thing is I need to connect to my speaker. Um, I just want to listen to James Brown Christmas, his funky Christmas album. I love that album, especially the, what is it? Let's make Christmas mean something this year. My brother is calling me. But it's not coming through. It says connecting. Let me try that again. Well, I guess he didn't mean to call me, so I'm about to try to put my music back on. So y'all, I'm going to start cooking. As I said earlier, I do have um, a couple things that I'm thinking about cooking. First thing I have here are some little boneless thin pork chops. So I'm gonna season these up in this pot. I'm gonna wash them all of that get them seasoned up and that is our first order of business jesus lord <laughs> this is so thin this what is this what okay this is a little bit better what is that whatever whatever i'm just here to cook so what i'm gonna do is get me some seasonings to season it up so what I'm seasoning this up with is some black pepper, of course, seasoning salt, Lowry's, minced onions, garlic salt, Lowry's, of course, and some Italian seasoning. So I'm not doing um, like regular salt because I feel like if I have seasoning salt and garlic salt, that is enough salt. So that's what we're about to season this up with. And I'm doing a little heavy on the season because um, there are six pieces in there. Minced onions. And I've actually never used um, Italian seasoning. So this is gonna be my first time. I'm actually a little excited to use it. I think it's gonna be really good. I literally just bought it, so dang. I'm having a issue. Logistics. <laughs> All right, I'll come back on camera when I get this. All right, so I got it together, I think. And I just need to top that back on. And the Italian is on. It's not coming out as much as I thought it would. But this is what the pork chop is looking like right now. Season up. And this is down in the south because I'm from Sumter, South Carolina. Down in the south, this is where your mama take her hand and she mixes it all up. And so what I'm doing right now, mixing it all up together. And that way both sides, so both sides are now seasoned. And to me, it's not looking as seasoned as I would like. So I'm gonna go back in 
add a dash of each one of these. I'm going to add a dash of each one of these seasonings one more time. And then we should be good. So let me wash my hands. And start that process again. Okay, so I'm going to go back in. Stop. I'm going to pepper. Mix onions. Give it salt. Garlic salt. So I put that in the refrigerator. Um, that way it can, you know, soak up the seasoning or what do you call it, marinate a little bit. Um, when I put it in the oven, I'm probably gonna put some butter, some butter on it. So when it's in the oven, some water and butter, I think that'll do what I want it to do. Um, my next order of business, I'm making some macaroni. So I need to see how much macaroni I have because I did not pick any up while I was at the store. Okay, so I think we're good on macaroni. Um, seems like I made half a box last time. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing. I'm gonna start boiling some water so that can um, be prepped. Because basically right now I'm just prepping. Prep, prep, prep. But prepping is cooking. <laughs> so let me get the um, macaroni. I let's not do that because I'm gonna blow up my phone. So I'm gonna get my macaroni eye heated up. And then we're gonna go in with this pot, water, of course. Only thing we need to um, prep macaroni is boiling some water. So you wanna have um, enough water in that will cover as much macaroni as you're gonna put in the bowl. So I'm getting that together right now. Add salt, um, pretty much to your liking. I really just eyeball it because I've eaten macaroni all my life, so I kind of know how much macaroni, I mean, how much salt I need in my water to have the taste in the macaroni, but not in the macaroni at the same time, so it's not too salty. So throwing that on the eye. Um, like I said, I'm going to add some salt. And everybody uses Morton's, so that's what we're doing. We're going in with some Morton's. Like I said, I really just eyeball it because I've been doing this. Well, I haven't really been making macaroni that long, but I've been eating it long enough and watch my mom make it. So I just do enough. It doesn't cover the whole bottom of my pot, but it's generously dispersed. So that's that. We're gonna go ahead and turn that eye to about seven. I have um, eight and high after that. So I'm not all the way high, but I'm trying to get this baby to boil. So I also always, it's just a thing. I like to make sure my eye, my pot is like all over my eye because that's when you get the best results. When the whole pot is being heated, when it's being evenly heated, all of that. So that's what we're working on now. While that is on the eye working, the next thing that I will do to prep for my macaroni is go ahead and take some of these eggs. And I think I use about two for the amount of macaroni that I cook. I use about two. Um, so we're gonna crack the eggs. 
and my mom she has me where i take the white stuff out of the egg like when i see i'll have to show y'all but i'm gonna fish those out for a little while and then um yeah so as you can see the water is doing what it does because i have it turned up to seven um i just need to come to a full boil and then i'll add my macaroni elbows and then here with the eggs like i said i hate the little white stuff Ugh. and i think it's because of my mom so what i'm gonna do is fish those out with the spoon and i'll come back when so i'm yeah. done the water is now boiling as you can see meaning it'll be a perfect time for me to go ahead and add my shells and that way those can get to boiling once those are boiling then we can um get those taken out and move right along i love when it's like so easy so that was really easy i got the first bit out really easily effortlessly just because i want to record this is not going to come out as easy as i would like so there goes another one of those things i don't know what it is but i don't want it in there so we're just fishing it out yay and i mean it looks pretty good there's just this one right there that's very close to the yolk and that one it'll be so hard to get them so i'm gonna do it off camera and then i'm gonna come back all right so we are looking good and pretty much right here what i do is mixy 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 ew i see a white thing in there so i want to get it out and that's why i like to take it out before i mix because it is so hard to get out when it's right here Yeah, it is so hard to get it out once you have broken the yolk. So, it's like, ugh. All right. Yay. All right. So, we have a nice little this. And at this point, I'm going to add my milk. My milk and my cheese and black pepper a lot of black pepper okay I just want to show you where I am with everything so this is for the macaroni sauce this is the cornbread or it's gonna be corn muffins because I stopped trying to do the croissant taking the easy way out and I said I'll just go ahead and make a real deal dinner so this is going to be my macaroni sauce. I don't know if you remember the contents that we used earlier, but we are about to add cheese to the eggs, milk, butter, black pepper. So that's what's happening here. I'm going to distribute the corn muffin mix into those cupcake um, holders. And yeah, that's where we are. I think we're doing great. Okay, so we have the macaroni in the macaroni sauce. It is tasting so good. Only thing I have to do now is bake. So this is how the macaroni is going in the oven looking. Yummy, yummy, yummy. These are the corn muffins and how they'll be going into the oven. macaroni and then the last thing I'm gonna do is put the pork chop in so like I said for the pork chop I added some butter I sprinkled some more of the lemon and dashed some water I'm gonna cover it up and sit this in the oven as well with everything else and yeah time has obviously passed um, I'm getting oily so that's how you know but I am going to show y'all what I do have. Finalized. So down there you see the macaroni. Right here it's um, some cheddar broccoli rice. Um, here we have the pork chops. And down here we have the corn muffins. I also have some green beans um, hot there. And yeah, that's everything. I have everything in the oven just to keep the um, heat on them. But yeah, dinner is served.